Hi, I'm Ken Rosenthal, Park Naturalist with Gulf Branch Nature Center in Arlington County. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about periodical cicadas. If you've been looking for them, they're not out yet, but they're coming. And by coming, I mean they've actually been here for 17 years already. So let's take a look at where the cicadas are right now, when they'll be out, and what we can expect when they emerge. So right now, if you wanna see the cicadas, they're where they've always been for the last 17 years, underground. But what they're doing now is they're digging tunnels and sometimes even preparing chimneys uh, as they get ready for their emergence. What that means is when they dig the tunnels, if they need to build up some wall, they take the dirt from the tunnel that they've been digging and pack it in, and that makes a, a chimney. And it's a very noticeable structure. You might see this in your yard. If you've got bricks, you might see some coming up between the bricks or might maybe next to uh, the roots of the trees. Uh, I've seen both of these in my yard. It's pretty exciting. I go, um, out to my car every time looking for a new chimney on the way there. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna roll this big log here and see if there's any um, cicadas or evidence of cicadas underneath. So we're all gonna take a look together. Oh, and we have some right there. So this is the log I just rolled over and you can see we've got a tunnel right there. We've got another tunnel right there. And a third tunnel right there. So there's going to be some cicada activity coming up underneath this log. And I'm going to check under another one because I want to hopefully show you one of the nymphs. Under another log, and while you can see that there's no nymph, you can see what some of the chimney building looks like where they've taken the soil from the tunnel and built it up to form uh, a kind of a chimney. It's half of a chimney because it's under a log, but that's what a chimney uh, looks like on the inside. So that's some fresh digging too. Third log is the charm. There's a couple tunnels right here. And then if we look down here, there's a couple of chimneys. And I even found a pair of nymphs. One skittered underneath real quick, but this is what the young cicada looks like. You can already see some red in the eyes. And nymphs are essentially like caterpillars are to butterflies. They're a juvenile of the uh, adult, they're the young one, uh, except they're not going to go through a cocoon or chrysalis stage. The next time they molt and shed their exoskeleton, they're going to come out as adults. You can see the wing buds there above the three legs. There's one on each side. So this critter here is going to be one of our periodical cicadas soon. Now, I don't want to disturb them too much, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back. What does all this mean? It means the cicadas are going to show up really soon. We've got a nice patch of warm weather here that's going to help warm up the soil. And there's a general agreement that when the soil hits temperatures around 64 degrees, that gets the cicadas energized and they emerge. They'll emerge at night to molt out of their um, current exoskeleton into their final shape, which will have wings so they can fly. Uh, and again, they'll do this at night uh, in the cover of darkness to help reduce the number of predators that will be eating them. Uh, and once they've emerged, they're gonna spend most of their time singing and looking for that special someone to mate with so they can lay eggs. Uh, they'll be out for about four to five weeks. There isn't any real concern. You don't need to be scared of, of these cicadas. They don't bite, they don't sting, uh, they're not poisonous. You could eat them if you want, most people don't, but you'll see um, people talking about some recipes for cicadas. Um, they don't have any really great defenses. Their biggest defense to protect themselves as a population, not as an individual, um, and that means the whole group of cicadas, not just the, the single cicadas, is that there are so many of them, the predators that eat them, from foxes and raccoons to all kinds of insect-eating birds to even some of our reptiles and amphibians and other insects that prey on uh, cicadas like uh, dragonflies or mandids. All of those animals can't possibly eat all of the millions of cicadas that come out. And there will be enough that will reproduce and that will lay more eggs and 17 years from now, we'll have another emergence. Um, it is one of the neatest, coolest, most fantastic uh, spectacles in nature here in the Eastern US. Uh, I hope you'll get out and have a chance to enjoy it. I hope that I can get out and take a video and send you a new one where I'm standing up with all of the cicadas and we can get an up close look at them uh, and have a little update. And since we've already seen the nymph, this will be our chance to see what the adults look and sound like. I'm very excited. I hope you'll take the time to get out and enjoy them as well. Thanks, have a great day. Uh, and I'm going to include my email here if you or your teachers want to send any questions 
uh, you can feel free to email me uh, with any questions about the cicadas um, because I want to keep the conversation going as long as possible and I'll also stick up a um, website cicadamania.com for you to um, view and check out if you'd like to learn more about the periodical cicadas. Have a great day.